Burns. Africa Burns is where I'm getting married, but... Welcome to you, man. Take one. So get ready. Get ready. So get ready. So get ready. I believe you're the man who started this uh, okay. Africa yeah. Burns tradition. Uh, well, no, we all started it, all of us. Well, you were one of the pioneers, though. You were um, there at the outset. Sort of, yeah. yeah. No, there were like three, four of us, yeah. So how long has it been going? Um, this is the fifth one here. Yeah. But uh, we had uh, one on my farm before that. Where's your farm? Somerset West. Uh, then we had, yeah, so actually this is six, maybe seven.
the farm was just a, a thing where we all gathered and met, a whole lot of us. Um, but then it took us about two years to find this this location. Okay. Um, and when we found Hank, it was like the best thing we could do. Is was it difficult to find a location that would accommodate this sort of thing? Yeah. We had a few other locations and then uh, the people got a bit nervous. camera is you never get your own footage are you Hotel California you can check out any time you like but you can never leave. I'm leaving in the morning. But no, maybe you told me you're leaving today though. I was I was leaving this morning too. Exactly that's what I, I was leaving you the can day check before. Out anytime you like. Enough. <laughs> he just left the drum. <laughs> he was telling, he was finding his whole family. I was like, I found a new place. It was beautiful, perfect. No, it was like, <laughs> I found a place. He got here because he was trying to get off, and then suddenly he goes, Oh! And he went for the closest shadow. Watch your There's shoe. so much noise in this place. I found a place to hide. This place vibrates, man. I can all eat my legs on the floor. <laughs> There we have Ernest, there we have Vivian, yeah. she's ready. There we have Mel, she's ready. One, two, there we have Carl, he's ready. Go. One, two, three, go! Yes, yes, yes! I saw a film about a rich kid in a private aeroplane. He was going to meet his mama. He was feeling so ashamed. He said, Mama, I'm lost. I didn't give you a bit to someone. Soft olives, soft olives. You take the tips out, you rough chop, then you put in anchovies, the rough chop, put in garlic, rough chop, put in capers, rough chop, 
Then just top it up with a bit of olive oil. Yeah. Tap it on. It's amazing. Biscuits. Uh, it's, with, with, it's, it's a Greek thing, tapping on. Although it was only invented at the turn of the turn of last century in Marseille. They've come for years. Uh, there's kids, yeah. lots of kids here. I think it's so healthy yeah. for their minds to open their minds to alternatives. Well, that's the whole point of doing this whole festival, is yeah. just to actually get people's brains to just go... Move away from the crap we do yeah. every day. Yeah. Just let go, basically. Let go and expand. Do expand you your...
Oh, you got any bites yet? A, a rock card and clip fish. Really? A, only rock card and clip fish, yeah. I know that's. It must be a tsunami because it's. I don't know, it's, it's extremely low tide. But this is river fishing, that's quite unusual, isn't it? It's very unusual. I, I, yeah. I, that's why I say there must be a tsunami somewhere. I can give you a flying dragon fishing license. So, five rules. Never wear ketchup with you. If you carry ketchup with you, then you become a dragon snack. Yeah. Um, if you sleep more than five hours, or less than five hours, this will kind of expire. If you see anybody else with this, you've got to give them a hug. Don't share your dragon with anyone else. And it's a catch and no release. What are you using for bait there? Live bait. Live bait. Live bait, and it's clip fish. Actually, clip fish. I'm trying to yeah. use clip fish, and that works best. Um, but today, yeah, nothing, nothing significantly bit, yeah. It's a, it's a dry day. Yeah. It's a dry day. But I mean, I, I came at high tide and it seemed to be an extremely long low tide. But they say 100 million years ago there was fish here. Yeah. So theoretically, if I have enough patience, <laughs> theoretically, it's just a matter of time. Give us a clue about this uh, awesome machine here. Oh, the jellyfish. This is a jellyfish. This is the jellyfish. This is the royal wedding. And this is the life theater. tank aquatic. Okay. It's the life tank aquatic. And we are its inhabitants. Awesome. I am Serena, the mermaid. Okay. Otherwise also known as Oyster Bell. Just be very careful. There's a fisherman down there. <laughs> Don't get caught. I, I, I might persuade. I might lure him. And then take his I thought heart. he was supposed to lure you. No, I sing him to his death. <laughs> oh, guys, I say you're having a good fight. What are you? It's what have you been doing? If you can cluck yeah. like a chicken, it's a party. You're a bad one. Oh, guys, I say you. If you can cluck like a chicken, it's a party. You'll win twelve chickens, okay. one chicken for a month, it's a party. So you can cluck like a chicken, and you will win a chicken once per month. It's a party. Well, we've got Wish You Were Here. That's brilliant. Right? It's all the burners that couldn't make it this year. So they've written little notes to all of their mates out here in the desert. And each one is unique, handwritten. And uh, the actual installation is not ours. It's uh, a friend of ours, Donna, who couldn't make it. So these are all super special. We've been engaging a lot so more with my partner. She's in there somewhere. But we want to obviously go and start meeting other people and share thoughts and ideas. So, but it's a very beautiful place. I wish more people could experience this. Got you. Got you. Got you before you got me. Go out there and do and talk to who you want to talk to. I didn't bring the tulips, but I did bread, uh, brought stroopwafels. Oh. Can you stroopwafel have it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to get here and I uh, lost him walking along the way. One lens to the other. Beautiful body, now you're looking fine The way you walk and move 
Possibilities for this in society across the world? Pedal powered cars, for sure. <laughs> Definitely. The way we're to gonna, go. We're yeah. going to reinvent the bicycle. I mean, uh, we're not screwing up the, the atmosphere with that's, that's exactly yeah, what exactly. it's about. It's a, it's a, it's we, a we focus on sustainability. We have bicycle powers as opposed to carbon emissions, and we have the solar power, solar panel to charge our lights as opposed to needing a generator. So, yeah. So, here I am on the orgy machine. <laughs> the Borgi bus. Orgy bus. <laughs> what? <laughs> Introduce yourself, cruising. My name is Drew, yes. and I was part of building this amazing machine here. Yes. Um, designed it in, on a computer program. That's how advanced it is. Yeah. Awesome. And then, with the help of these other fine gents over here, yes. We, uh, for the past three weeks, we've been welding, cutting, grinding away. Um, and putting this all together, hey? So I'm Matteo. Yes. And I've been just helping a little bit recently, but... He did the... He was when you, when I was doing the... Yeah, yeah, when, when you check it at night, it's got UV lights inside and all oh, kinds really? of crazy yeah. things. Yeah, so... He's the, the daytime, electrical engineer. The daytime oh, okay. tripping is not quite as impressive, but hopefully the whole thing will glow like a Christmas tree at night. But then the nice thing is there's three seats, so yeah. you can swap out when you need to. You so can I can bring both my wives on this. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Although you may need to bring both their sons to push it, but still. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually live in New York now, eh? Hey? Oh, really? Yeah, I've abandoned So this you've uh, flown out from New York? Sorry? Uh, I flew down just for Africa birds. Yeah. Well, how actually, is that? My that my is awesome. That is, if you want to compare the size of the real Burning Man to this, Burning Man would be like a massive city, and this would be like a small little suburb of the city. That's how big it is. I love you. Yeah. You gotta go oh, get Brandon. I was Kira, I was it's telling so you all cool. about your awesome shoes. I know, look, I just made them now. Now look, they've got rubber at the bottom as well. You have to show people how to make them. She wants to know how to make them. <laughs> my secret, my secret to love. Hello. How are you doing? Very good.
that horrible. <laughs> be on MTV. <laughs> I just enjoy it. Never say never. Never say, what's a Justin Bieber song? Never, never say, say, say never. never. Oh, you're a her. She fainted. <laughs> she fainted because we pierced oh, her shame, ear. Man. No, we, we busy with our MTV <laughs> interview. <laughs> People come here, they do fly-ins here and Henk the owner and Fan are like very into this sort of stuff. You shouldn't take a chance. Um, they do, they do kind of overland trips, biking things, fly-ins and they, yeah, they love, they love the madness here. Uh, but it took about two years to find this place. So basically uh, the approach we've taken is we've divided it into three spots. There's a sunset slot which is at 6.30, followed, next slot is two hours later at 8.30, followed by that, there we go, nice, 10.30 slot. Do we want to have an amazing safe night? Yeah! yeah. Let's make it happen. Yeah.